This is our chicken coop and run, which is right next to our vegetable garden. So it's early in the morning here. We're going to walk out and give the girls some of our oranges that we didn't eat. Let's go. We've never given the girls oranges yet. We just got these chicks in April and from Tractor Supply. So they're growing up pretty fast. Let's see, I might have to help them. Mommy, Give me the oranges. Me. I got it, go ahead. So this is our first time raising chicks. Here you go. So take them out and give them to them. Take them? Yeah, one was running with one. Mm -hmm. Look, look, he's running! Okay, well put down some more. There you go. That way they won't fight over them. Let's see if our girls like oranges. Chicken! Yummy, yummy, yummy! You tummy, tummy, tummy! Alright, so the chicken coop is over there. Uh, we ordered that some years ago in anticipation of getting chicks. So I'm not familiar with the name of the company, but it's working out all right so far. Again, they've only been out here um, a little bit now. And so inside there, we've got the pine shaving is bedding that we get at Tractor Supply. And we've got it on cinder blocks just to keep it off the ground and give them more space to hang out beneath there. So this is their food that we still have in that little feeder from when they were chicks. Um, this is working out so far as their waterer with the little um, chicken cups on there. I don't know what you call those, but we ordered those and that's working out. What I wanted to do was have this automatic feeder. I saw a gentleman do on YouTube and they're supposed to peck underneath here to get to the food. It's, and see how the food is dropping down now when I do that. So imagine if they pecked it, the food should drop, but we're working on it. And I think they're still a little too young to be able to peck that with any consistency. So I keep putting the food in there instead. Say hi to one of the chickens. Good morning, sweetheart. Good morning. Hi. Say good morning to my friend. Good morning. Now this one seems to be the queen. Or king. We're not sure yet. This one's usually in charge, but we'll see. But anyway, if you're thinking about okay, honey, you can put them down. If you were thinking about getting chickens, um, so far so good. Of course, we don't expect eggs anytime soon. Uh, not for several months, but at least as far as the kids go, they seem to enjoy having them in the backyard. Oh, we also put down mulch. Uh, the mulch is just to try to keep the area dry, although we do have a roof on here. And on top of the roof is the corrugated plastic. And right here is the swing. Yes, and that's their little chicken swing that we made. And it's just some rope and some eye hooks. Here. And some chicken, some put this up here and there to see how tall is the chicken is going to be. Okay. Yeah, we did a couple this roofs. Or this tall. Yes, Malachi, what are you pointing at? Okay, so he's pointing at their dust bath, or at least what we hope is their dust bath. I had saved some uh, wood ash from the fireplace over the over the last year, and so we put it all in there hoping that they would use that as a dust bath. They haven't quite figured it out yet. Instead, they tend to dust bathe over here in this little corner. So eventually, maybe when they get bigger, they'll appreciate that. If not, we'll take it out. And inside the chicken coop, I put some little flowers. Oh yes, that we put just yesterday we put some weeds in the in the coop and run. Like There's some there. They seem to like to peck at it, at least yesterday. But hopefully all of this will turn into compost and um you know over the next year or so we'll be able to scoop it out and put it in the vegetable garden. So speaking of vegetable garden, you guys ready to head over there? Yep. All right, let's do it. Say bye chickies. Bye Let chickies. Me go Who's enjoying the swing? You like it? The snake even does get in there, it'll be too hurt. 
as we were saying now this is the chicken coop door and the garden is right next to it so kids you ready to walk to the garden yep mm -hmm. let's go in a second baby Okay, so, all right, so, clearly there's a lot of fencing around this garden, primarily because we have a lot of deer, so I wanted to, we still have to finish adding some mulch here to cover this grass, but I wanted you guys to be able to see that we use soaker hoses. Soaker hoses is how we give water to the plants, so here it is here. And they're going all along all of our rows. So let me zoom in so you can see it a little bit. But anyway, so this is eventually going to be the kids' garden. We have now planted in this row, I believe, is zucchini. So it's a long row of zucchini. Here comes the mulch. And more zucchini, 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 or, or maybe yellow squash. The last one here is cantaloupe, which I've never grown before. So we're going to see how this goes. All right. Let's go down the next row. Oh, and by the way, if all of if some of this stuff goes bad, we usually throw it over there or or in the what? Door. Or in the compost? Yeah. All right. Okay, let's go down the next row. All right. So, right here we've got a cucumber. Get I close got, to this. I got it. I got it. That's a cucumber. You keep walking. A few more steps. There's another cucumber there. And again, you can see the soaker hose is right next to it, too. Okay, keep going. Now, what else do we have, kids? What are these? Hmm. What are these? They look like mint, but... These are the green beans. I got it. Back up, then. Back up and film what I want you to film. Okay, so these are the green beans. And um, I think they're purple hull mixed with the regular Kentucky something or other. And as you see, these are already... Some of these are already starting to go up the trellis here. And so we plant our green beans and our cucumbers in this one because they've got plenty of space to loop over. Okay, so green beans, green beans. Here's one that hasn't quite found the fencing yet. Eventually, this will wrap itself onto the fence and it'll attach just like the other one did here. And it'll go up. So, so far this one has climbed all the way up to here. And eventually it'll wrap overhead. So more green beans here. These are some tomato plants. Mm -hmm. This is a sunflower. It's our first time growing sunflowers um, in the garden successfully. Okay, so this row we planted some more cucumbers here. We've had some issues with some bugs, but we're working on it. I use um, either seven dust and or diatomaceous earth as you can see some bugs have gotten to this one so i've got to reapply we think it's caterpillars so these are the green beans that are starting to sprout this is another cucumber plant that one's doing pretty well again i've got to reapply some um some some kind of pest repellent all along this fence here but eventually they'll grow up the fence just like the other side did okay more tomatoes more tomatoes. This is the other side of that sunflower. You can see really well how how much it got eaten off here and here. Tomatoes. Tomatoes. Got a ton of tomatoes. So I'll be canning a lot of tomato sauce this year. This one's setting fruit too. Can you see that? Okay, so more tomato plants. More tomatoes. Now this in here I honestly don't remember. So it's either pumpkin or a squash. squash. And that's another sunflower seed. More marigolds. Rust and sage down there. Okay, so now let's walk up that middle aisle. Let's see. So now this one, now we're kind of in the middle. I can show both. Alright, so now we've got, on this side, we've got a row of um patty pan squash that's growing oh this one is watermelon hopefully hopefully it takes all right so patty pan squash on this side patty pan yeah. 
Now this one, the flower, yes, last night we were just out here. Don't touch it. Last night we were just out here and this flower hadn't opened yet. But now look at that. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous flower. Patty Pan squash. Ow. Move. Walk straight. More patty pans. Now these two are technically probably too close to each other, but I want to see what happens. So summer gardening is just experimenting. More patty pans. We're going to have a similar issue here. More patty pan squash here. In this one, we have either pumpkin or uh, a winter squash. But I see something inside of those leaves. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this row, let me turn around again. This row is all peppers. So they're either hot peppers or bell peppers. And I had some signs out here before. Like this one says chocolate beauty pepper. I had signs out. They've disappeared. But so far the peppers, just stay there. So far the peppers are coming along pretty well. Some of them look a little bit more haggard than others, but... Here we are, right? Peppers, peppers, peppers. Oh, they're starting to flower, which is really awesome. They're starting to flower. And here we have what I believe is cantaloupe. Next row is watermelon. And these are the summer squash. Um, this should be a mixture of zucchini and yellow crookneck in this row. So it's still early in the season. I had planted some of these a little too early and then I had to restart them. So that might explain for the small size. This flower is just for decoration and to help pollinators come in. It's supposed to come back every year. Can you see that? There we go, I got that at Lowe's. All right, last, well, okay. So that's either again, pumpkin or squash or winter squash. Last row here is not doing so well but we're going to see what happens this is supposed to be okra but again you see i've had some pest damage it's supposed to be okra more okra oh there's some new okra coming up that's a good sight to see um pest damage there and then a few more peppers and then watermelon so this is our garden tour oh last thing some of you may be wondering what this wall of greenery is most of this is kudzu so we are in zone 7b in the atlanta area we're about 30 to 45 minutes outside of atlanta and kudzu grows like crazy it kind of makes a really nice wall but it's not much you can do about it because it's just going to grow and grow all summer long but that's about it kids did you want to show anything in particular in the garden that you like yeah, so let's do Mally. Over there, they see over here. Mm -hmm. My sister put me right there so it can like look beautiful when the when like the wind of, blows. Yeah, like in the fall. Malachi, do you have a favorite plant in the garden? Yeah, the cucumbers. The cucumbers are your favorite. <laughs> All right, Michaela, do you have a favorite plant in this garden? I think, yeah. What do you like? See those over there? Yeah, the yeah. pepper plants? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I like all of those. You like all the pepper plants? Mm hmm So that's it for this garden tour. Now we're going to go up on the porch and show you some of the, the other kids' garden area and some of the herbs that we've got growing. Oh. All right. Hi, guys. No, oh, you talk. So we're up on our deck, and... We, we're kind of playing with this area as like an extra kids garden area, space. And so we got this raised bed here. Still trying to figure out what to do with it. So these are some extra tomato plants that never got planted. Um, I, don't, I think I've got enough tomatoes. This is a squash that volunteered. And we've got tomatoes that are actually in there. Acorn squash that I sprouted. I, I'm running out of space in the garden. I don't know if I'll actually have space to plant those. This is one of the squash plants that's out there in the garden. More peppers, tomatoes. I started some sage. Can't remember what this one is. 
And this is what happens when you lose your little tags. It's some kind of a herb. It's probably medicinal. I can't recall the name of it. Down here we've got mint. This one is mulain. Um, this one is dill. And over there is chamomile. All right. Okay. So on this rack, um, this is often where I start my seeds. I, I have this rack in the house where we just moved it out. It's not looking its prettiest. Still got to figure out what to do. This one I've, I've been growing for about a year and a half. Marshmallow. Penny Royal. Uh, again, I lost the tag on this one. Blue Hyssop is growing well. Lost the tag on this one about a year or so ago. And then this one is Licorice. So, this is the deck. So, essentially, with, with some of these, um, eventually, with some of these herbs that I've got started here, I just ordered one of those three-tier planters. With the kids running around. I just ordered one of those three uh, five tier vertical planters and so I'm going to be putting the herbs in the vertical planter instead of having them out here also this is more mint we've had this mint um, this is lemon balm I believe we've had this for about two years oh, Uncle, this slime wet. And, this, and this slime made me wet um, this is um, lavender starting to come back so I'm gonna leave it this was rosemary and it doesn't seem to be coming back I think I'm gonna leave it for another year and see if it returns and those are more marigolds that kind of return on their own every year so that's it for the garden tour yep go what you doing buddy All right. All right, so it's a little bit later in the afternoon now. Oh, good. Sun just went behind a cloud or two, but I wanted to show the mulch that I added to finish off this row. So now all this area is filled in where it was previously just grass. And now this whole row is fully mulch. Ta-da! Takes a lot of work, a lot of effort, but it pays for itself. Now some grass and weeds will still inevitably break through, but the good thing about having mulch down is that when the weeds do come up, they're very loose and it's pretty easy to pull them out. So this is what the garden looks like with more mulch added. I even touched up some areas in this row that were a little thin as far as the mulch was concerned. Like I said, this, this used to be the edge of the, of the garden row here. So you can see where we had grass. So I added some more mulch. It's not perfect, um, but that's a weed there that I'll probably have to pull out. I, didn't, I don't have those tools out here with me now. There's some grass there. I could probably pull up a little bit of it, you know, cover that back up with mulch. Eventually it'll die out, um, etc. But this is the garden. So it's looking pretty good. I am looking forward to how this pans out the rest of the summer. All right, see you next week.